Android 8.0 Oreo brings a lot of sweet features and changes, with my favorite being the very cool picture-in-picture -picture mode, notification dots, and smart text selection. There's also the cool notification enhancements like the ability to snooze notifications and the ability to filter particular notifications from an app via notification channels. Now those are some really nice features. But there are a lot of under the hood changes in Android Oreo that not everyone is aware of. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to talk about some really cool Android Oreo changes and features that aren't as noticeable or well publicized. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that we've done that, let's get started. Many apps use SMS authentication to verify your phone number. Now you either have to enter the one-time password manually or the app detects the received SMS automatically once it has the permission to read your texts. Either ways, your message inbox is filled with useless OTPs. This is what Android Oreo tries to fix. Oreo brings a new API for developers through which apps will be able to authenticate your phone numbers without you ever receiving an SMS. How this works is, if an app requires authentication, it will create a unique token that is sent to the app directly. You will not receive a message nor you will have to enter anything manually. Now this is a simple addition to Android but something that really enhances the user experience. Android apps are infamous for running in the background and draining battery. Facebook is one app that comes to mind and well Oreo wants to fix that as well. Android Oreo introduces wise limits which as the name suggests puts a sensible limit to the resources an app can use, thereby decreasing battery drain and increasing the performance on your device. In fact, Android Oreo shows you the apps that are running in the background so that you can manually force stop them. This is certainly a welcome addition to Android considering the fact that there are many apps that run silently in the background while draining your device's battery. Android Audio also brings a new Wi-Fi aware feature which is also known as neighborhood aware networking. The new feature is a mix between Wi-Fi direct and nearby and it will let apps and devices communicate and send data with each other without having the need to connect to a common Wi-Fi network or any other access point. While some file sharing apps already have APIs to share data across devices, the inclusion of Wi-Fi aware will make things way more easier. Well, we'll have to wait for apps that have Wi-Fi aware integrated to see how this works out in real life. We have all used the autofill feature in Chrome to easily log into our accounts, enter credit card info, addresses, etc. Now Google has introduced the autofill API for third-party apps in Android. So basically, if you have the username and password of any account, say your Twitter account saved in Chrome, you'll be able to log into the Twitter app through autofill and you don't have to manually type in the login credentials. Even the third-party password managers work better in Android Oreo. For instance, you can choose the LastPass password manager as the autofill service and then autofill login credentials, card information, addresses, etc. inside other apps via LastPass. Well, autofill is definitely one of my favorite additions to Android with Oreo. Android Oreo also brings way better battery information than what you got in previous Android versions. Unlike Nougat or previous versions, the Android Oreo battery page shows you when you fully charged your phone last. Also you can see the battery used by all the apps on your device. You can just tap on an app and see how many minutes of battery the app drained in active use as well as background use. You can also choose to enable battery optimization and even force stop an app if it is unnecessarily draining the battery. If you like the breakdown of the battery drain, it's still there. The battery page is not really an under the hood feature, but with Oreo bringing so many enhancements for battery, the new battery page sure makes things more detailed. Android Oreo ups the ante when it comes to security. Firstly, it features Google Play Protect, which recently rolled out to older Android versions. Then there are some interesting changes that should make Android more secure. First is the fact that you need to enter your PIN or password or pattern to unlock developer options. That's right, you can't just tap on the build number 7 times and enable it. Also, installing an app via its APK file is not as simple as it was. On Android Oreo, you need to enable unknown sources for apps that are the source of the file. For instance, if you downloaded an APK file from Chrome and you want to install it, you'll have to give Chrome the permission to install apps from unknown sources. 
Likewise, you'll have to give the same permission to a file manager if you have the APK in the file manager app and you want to install it. I'm sure you're thinking that doing this manually for every different app will be a little extra work. But if it helps to keep our devices secure, then I think it's worth it. If you are an Android geek like me, I'm sure you've come across boot loops. You tinker with the mod and restart your phone and now all you see is the boot animation screen. Android Oreo brings a new rescue party feature to fix boot looping issues. Rescue party is triggered when the system server restarts more than 5 times in 5 minutes and when a persistent system app crashes more than 5 times in 30 seconds. Once it's triggered, the feature introduces a series of actions to fix the device. Some of these actions include resetting your device or taking you to the recovery page where you can reset your device. If you're part of the Android routing community, you will surely appreciate this feature. While Rescue Party is a very useful and interesting addition, it won't save you in every situation, so be very careful. That's not everything. Android Oreo includes a ton of other under the hood changes. For instance, there's Project Rebel, which aims to fix the everlasting problem of Android, that is Android updates. Android Oreo also brings faster boot speeds and app launches, which is certainly very welcome. In fact, in my usage, I found Android Oreo to be way more smoother than Nougat or Marshmallow. There's also multi-display support, task snapshots, various Bluetooth codecs to choose from, and a lot more in Android Oreo. Well, those were some under-the-hood changes in Android Oreo that not many people are aware of. So what do you think? Do you like the changes in Android Oreo? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.